exactly a week I'm gonna be done with my second year of uni I'm gonna be going on like a summer vacation but first we need to conquer the most stressful period of uni which is exam season outside right now it's very noisy very bright the sun isn't out like it's cloudy but it's very bright i thought why not vlog my exam week i thought that could be a little fun i look like i'm really like representing hollywood here in the background but <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna be vlogging my exam week i have my first exam today it is saturday who puts an exam on a saturday like honestly i have it at like quarter past three it is currently 12 54 so i have like two hours left in this video i'm gonna be kind of just like vlogging when i have exams when i'm studying i'll also give you some tips on how i study for my exams and how i stay organized and manage to like be productive even when i'm not really bothered to we'll see how i'll feel throughout the week my exam is in about two hours i already went to the library this morning and i didn't really do much studying i can't just look through my notes again but my first exam here is an open book exam so i prepared some notes i still have a few notes that i need to print out but i'm gonna do that when my friend gets here and the course that my exam's in is called fashion advertising and promotion it's been a super fun course and i love the teacher that i have he's amazing shout out to him I've also never had an exam here in Hong Kong since I'm on my exchange right now It's gonna be a first time that I have like an official exam here Hi vlog! Mika's here! We are stressing Yeah, who thinks we're gonna do well? Comment down below Yeah Yes Are so you gonna, gonna show? Follow. Yeah No, this thing I wrote on my notes Okay Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> <laughs> To encourage us For exam Yeah <laughs> Yeah. I also like she showed me how we're sitting in the exam and I'm gonna be sitting like all at the, the way at the back. Back, the last like person. And I'm in the yeah. front, so I wanted to be next to you. I thought we were gonna be next to each other because like K and L, but that's okay. This is the only exam I have with you. Yeah. Which is sad because I, I wanted to have more. We have a lot of classes together but I never go to class. No, but that's fine. Did you tell your vlog about your- Oh no, actually, we'll keep that as a surprise. Oh yeah, something is coming Something's soon. Something's coming. <laughs> Stay tuned. Something's coming. <laughs> we just, just finished. finished. After three hours- I have blisters all over my head. And we both stayed like till the end, 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 Three end. hour exam. We said goodbye to our professor. Best professor yes, ever. Yes, we love him. We love him. I'm so tired. I like, need to take like a long nap. But you have something exciting to do tonight. Yes, I'm going to like a restaurant called Mr. Wong. Yes. If you know, you know. Cause like all the exchange students now are kind of like going home or traveling. So it's kind of a little- I'm not an exchange student. Bye bye. Well, no, you're not an exchange student. But, but she's <laughs> going for dinner and yes. I'm gonna go take a nap. Perfect. <laughs> Right. This portion of the video is going to be a little bit about how to get organized, how to stay productive, just to help you a little bit with your studying if you feel that you need that. I have like some have some tips to give basically. Disclaimer, if you are here to know how to find motivation, then I have to tell you a harsh truth, and that is that you cannot rely on motivation to do things in life. What you are in need of is dedication. And I have little like quote that I read I don't remember if I read it or I might have seen it in a YouTube video or something but action creates inspiration which creates motivation but it isn't linear you can apply this the other way around too so you get motivation you find inspiration and then you decide to act upon it but obviously if you are in need of motivation the best thing you can do is just to start and that will create more inspiration and motivation okay so the first real study tip now that i always do is i like to plan out and organize for example my week or my day or my just 
just my study session and I'm not just gonna write okay I have to study today I'm gonna write it very detailed so how I'm gonna study in what steps what I'm gonna do to study blah 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 you can even do it in I like to do this on an app called Asana but there's also other apps like Notion you can write it in your notes you can write it by hand whatever you prefer doing so i'll give you an example i have a class called retailing and merchandising so let's say i want to study that i'm not just going to write study retailing and merchandising for that class this teacher she normally at the beginning of each class gives us some learning objectives for that day which covers the presentation of that day so i'll make those objectives if they're not already in the form of a question i'll make them in a the form of a question write out answers to it which you can then test yourself on before the exam you have multiple sets of like questions you can repeat and learn from also if you're at uni right now your library's website most likely has a place where you can find past exams so if you're studying for an exam you can look at what the past exam were like sometimes you can even find from the same teacher that you might have right now with the help of your notes with the help of the internet you can find answers to those and then and then go through them multiple times so that you learn them and if you find one that's recent and from the same teacher that you have most cases your exam will look very similar to that too the next step i have is to hide your phone literally make sure that you cannot see your phone put it in a box put it in a drawer put it in another room put it on airplane mode so that you can't receive notifications sometimes i forget to do that then i'll get notifications on my apple watch and i get distracted remove any form of distraction for most people today that is our phone but if it's something else make sure that you cannot see that thing so that you can really get into your zone and start studying without any distractions because even if you think that you're just gonna check a notification and then you put your phone away that still distracts your thought process and everything even if it's just a few seconds some people like to do the pomodoro method which is it can be different time sequences but basically study for 25 minutes have a five minute break and do it again for two three hours however long you want to do it when you take those five minute breaks it's not always the best idea to use your break to go on your phone because that will distract you and in a lot of cases you might not be able to get off of it some people like to do different time sequences it can be that you study for 50 minutes have a 10 minute break or or some people don't really like to take breaks when they get into their zone they get into their zone so they'll study for three hours but then i definitely think that you should take after that take a big break go on a walk do exercise read a book do something that's gonna get your mind elsewhere than the work that you're focusing on without going on your phone though <laughs> if you're someone that likes to study with people but then you tend to not study you just start talking about other things a good tip that i like to sometimes is i'll have my computer up i'll go onto youtube and I'll search for study with me with either white noise or lo-fi music because then you can see that someone that's in front of you studying, being productive and it feels like you're together with someone but then you also get inspired by seeing that they're being productive and not being distracted so like then you can kind of copy and also start working and being productive and all of that also when you do study with me a lot of them have the pomodoro study method and if for example if you have just a five minute break and you're like okay well i can't go on a whole walk like i can't go to the gym if it's only five minutes what you can do instead of going on your phone one of my teachers like a while back told our class that when we're writing exams for three hours four hours straight it can be a good idea to bring a small snack just like a little bar or a fruit take a break from your work eat that snack only i mean snacks don't take that long to eat so about five minutes and that's a great way to just take a little break without any other screens without any major distraction gain some more energy have some brain food don't be afraid to ask for help if there's some answer that you can't find ask a friend ask a classmate ask the teacher even if you really looked for the answer you really can't find anything you're never gonna get any closer to finding the answer if you don't ask so don't be scared to ask if you have any tips that i didn't mention that you like to use comment them down below i would love to know let's continue on with this exam week <coughs> 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 <coughs>
literally, <clears throat> this is the worst timing to be safe. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, like two days ago in the evening, I started to feel like my throat was hurting a little bit. And then I was just telling myself, it's probably because I keep going like inside, outside, inside, outside. And the thing here is that outside, it's boiling. Inside, it's freezing because of the AC. So I was like, oh, it's probably because of that. And then yesterday, I wake up and like I feel horrible, like absolutely horrible. Like my head hurts, my throat hurts, I start coughing a little bit, I can barely stand up, like I'm dizzy. Yesterday, it was not a good day. Like I only left my room to go get dinner at one point. And when I tell you that like I was walking, literally, I need to like show you. I was walking like this this slow just because i was so like dizzy i was not feeling very good but um i do have an exam today which i need to attend like i said today i'm feeling a lot better i am coughing a little bit more than yesterday like my head doesn't hurt i can walk i can stand up without feeling dizzy so the only thing is like okay i'm coughing a little bit but that's fine i'll just wear a mask and take my exam and that's it but because I was feeling so bad yesterday, I literally could not study at all. That is what I need to do today. Uh, excuse my hair, but like, yeah, I don't know what to say. I do kind of like changing up my location when I study, which is kind of sad because right now I'm feeling like just staying in my room is the best option because here the AC isn't blasting unless I wanted to. And I just don't really want to go, I don't want to spread anything. Like, I'm just going to go to school for my exam and that's it. Then I'm going to be right back inside. But yeah, like I said, I kind of like, normally I would like to switch up my location. Sometimes I'll study in my room, but I usually get kind of distracted here. So either I'll be in the library or I'll go to a cafe or I'll just go to another space like in the uni. That can be good sometimes if you feel like you're trying to work on something but you just seem to keep getting distracting just change location but yeah like i said i have an exam today in about three hours so we're just gonna go ahead and study right now to leave here in about an hour but before my exam i need to eat something so i think i'm gonna go now and grab some lunch it's about half past one right now and i think i'm just gonna go grab some sushi real quick get some energy for the exam it's important to eat good before your exam plus for some reason here in the uni that i'm in now because i'm on a an exchange if you didn't know i'm in hong kong right now they don't allow you to bring snacks or even water to the exam which snacks okay i guess i could understand but water like a girl wet so i'm gonna make sure that i am hydrated it's a three hour exam which is like i mean pretty normal but still like three hours no water yummy i got like a egg sushi thing yum also for some reason my throat is like killing me right now so maybe i should like stop talking super important to eat before your exams it gives you that energy in order for you to write and do a good job on your exam you need food i'm switching over to the phone vlog oh my god i can't even talk right now my throat my exam starts in 10 minutes i don't even know where it is it should be easy to find i think and i know that this time I'm not at the back of the class or the place, so that's good. But I'm still like on like seat number 20. Oh, I also forgot to tell you that the exam that I'm taking for is for a class called Management Principles in the Fashion Business.
I'm done. I just got out of the like exam room. I can barely talk. There were like multiple people that were like coughing a little bit so that made me feel a little bit better. But I literally can't talk right now. My throat is on fire. Oh my gosh, that felt so good. My voice sounds like I've been smoking for the last 50 years. Um, slay, represent. Everybody always takes pictures here. Like, it's just a road. Okay, I'm back in the room. My voice is coming back a little bit. It took me like two hours to do that exam. I had three hours, so it felt good. I could have studied a little bit more, but I mean, obviously I felt sick and everything. I, I literally couldn't study, so. And normally I don't study like the same day that I have the exam. I won't study that day because First of all, I usually always have exams in the morning actually, so maybe that's why, but also because, I mean, usually like before an exam, the same day of my exam, like the th stuff I know, I know, and I can't, like I won't be able to get anything new in, but since I hadn't studied so much like yesterday and stuff, I was like, I and I had until 3 o'clock to study a little bit more, I was like, okay, well, might as well. It's not really necessary to be up until like 2 o'clock in the morning studying because at a certain point like you won't be able to get in any new information go to bed at a reasonable time so you can get a full night's sleep it's more important that you have a good night's sleep that you're eating good because then you'll be able to learn a lot easier it's about working smarter not harder you guys i have my last exam today Woo! so excited for it to be over this is like my pile of six that's my cough medicine that's tissues in case i need to blow my nose there's some more med like but i'm feeling a lot better it's just that i'm coughing now my nose is a little stuffy obviously my voice sounds horrible but i have my last exam today it's saturday once again who let people do exams on saturday um how do i feel for this exam i feel not stressed at all because i just i'm just ready for it to be over i feel like whatever happens happens and i think like also because i'm on my exchange i've just been so much more chill about it i've been like whatever i need to pass passing grade here is 40 percent i've been a pretty good student my whole life so that's not the way you should think of it though you should always strive to do your best and i'm gonna do my best it is currently it's almost two o'clock and my exam is at quarter past three or that's when it starts until six and it's for a course called retailing and merchandising which has been i mean it's been fine after today i'm free oh my gosh after today i'm gonna be done with the second my second year in uni that is crazy and after today i have just one more week it's gonna be my last week in hong kong which i am gonna vlog so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned to see that but my last week in hong kong i've been here for five months already that's so crazy oh my god i was scared like i broke my karma but it's just the humidity i am officially done with my second year in university like bye bye i'm done with my second year in university that's so crazy to me but i'm also so ready to leave oh i don't want to walk around here with my vlog camera that's kind of awkward this is the fit of my last day in university or my second year of university okay i feel awkward i finished the exam i had three hours to do it i did it in two hours also i like didn't read like the information page super clear like i just read through it very quickly and then after like an hour the teacher was like oh for my class don't forget that you only need to answer four out of six questions and i was like uh, okay so that teaches me that i always need to read a little bit slower a little bit make everything a little bit more clear for myself so i can make my life easier anyways i'm going to dinner tonight we're gonna celebrate this i was so excited to be done so i forgot to film an outro but i hope you enjoyed and if you're going through exams right now i wish you the best of luck you are gonna do amazing i hope to see you in my next video bye oh,